Well, good morning. Today is Friday, November 22nd. And you know where we're going. We're going to the pool. It's a little cloudy that way, but sunny that way. So we'll see how the day goes. We don't have any birthdays today. None, none whatsoever that I can see. Nobody let me know. But it was uh, nice having Jim back home. He's trying to catch up on some of the shows that he missed, so I was in the back room most of the night watching my shows because he, uh, like I said, they don't have TV service where he goes up north because it's just a, a hunting cabin, so, you know, there's no point in putting all that stuff in, you know, like having cable and all that. So, I wanted to thank Diane C. and Barbara B. and Deborah Roseberry because they all knew that it was called tatting. That's what, you know, like when you take that little thing and you do the, all the lace and stuff, because they were like lacing it on Yankees. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's, what I, that's what I was saying. Yeah, because I'm a crafty person and I knew that. Not. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was what it was. So, that's what Jim's grandmother used to do. I remember, my grandmother used to do something. I didn't see my grandmother very often. But I'm trying to fix you. Let me pull over and fix you so you don't bounce so much. But I gotta wait till I get to a clear area that I can do it in. Here we go, right up here. Right here. We go right here. Right here out of the way. I don't live on a country road, but it looks like it used to be a farmer's country road. Most of these houses used to be farms. But let me see. I'll be right back. Let's see if that's any better. Um, this used to be a farm road. And We've already passed four farms that are still farmhouses, but no farmland. They've sold their land to become subdivisions. But Essential Cassie, Cassandra, reminded me of, um, she was saying that her mother, we were talking about pictures and things like that, and she was say, saying that uh, her mother won't let her take pictures of her. My father was the same way. Every video, movie video, movie camera, home movie, that's the word I was trying to think of. Every home movie that my mother tried to get my dad in, he'd go like this. So I see a lot of my dad like that <laughs> because he wouldn't, uh, he wouldn't take his picture and he wouldn't um, let you take a movie of him or anything like that. But what she does is, okay, Cassandra, get your mother in the other room. <laughs> just in case she watches. She secretly records her so she can have her voice. I still have a recording on my phone <clears throat> from Sophia. Sophia's nine years old uh, from when she was four. And Christy and I have, have a thing that if you don't answer the phone, we always go, somebody's screening. And that's what Sophia does. She says that. She goes, somebody's screening. Yeah, maybe I'll try to see if I can put it on this video today when I get home. Let's see, because it's on my uh, house phone. And she's just so cute. At 7.05 p.m. videos um, like these that uh, I have their voices and things so that's nice but I know that when Jimmy was little I had a little cassette player and I taped him when he was like three singing Mickey Mouse a Mickey Mouse song he'd go M-I-C-K-K-Y M-O-U-S-E it was so cute <clears throat> and then the tape you know how they always get wrecked get wrecked so I don't have that tape recording anymore but I think I'm going to Cassandra, thank you. You reminded me. We do have some 8-track tapes of uh, the kids growing up. And I'm quite sure I probably have my mother on one of them. Let's just look and see. Just to hear her voice again. Because I've really been thinking about my mom and my dad a lot lately. I think it's just the holidays. And uh, it really gets you thinking. It's just, you know, missing too. And Diane Dravinsky, Dravinska. I always say your name wrong, Diane Dravinsky. I think it is D R A V I N S K I. 
this is going to be her first holidays without her mom. And I, I know how hard the first ones are. They're all hard. Give me, don't get me wrong. They're all hard. But the first ones are especially hard. But just think of a tradition that she used to do or something that will remind you of them. My, uh, I have special ornaments that I hang on my tree that remind me of both Jim's mom and my mom and dad and uh, Jim's dad too. And uh, it just always makes me feel like they're a part of my Christmas then because the, when I hang it on the tree, it just, it just reminds me so much of it. And then I have a couple ornaments which my kids are going to have when they, when I'm gone. Come back, come back to me. Um, from when I was a child, so they're uh, they've already picked out their ornaments that they want. I had, luckily, I don't know how it worked out, but I had three ornaments, so they each going to going to get one. And then. Uh, If you had a well, we were already told at our water aerobics class at the other school that uh, there's going to be a because you know they schedule them and they know when they're coming. That at one of our classes, that there's going to be a fire drill and we are going to be required to get out of the pool. <laughs> so I don't know if we're just gonna not go to the have class that day because of that reason or just let it go. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, we're here. I know you wobbled everywhere, but you made it safely. That's all that really matters. So, okay, talk to you guys in a bit. There's a typical sky for the autumn in Michigan. But at least it's not snow. But this is usually what it looks like from now until April, maybe March. Well, that was an invigorating walk. Uh, it's 27 degrees out here. Perfect walking weather. Perfect walking weather. It's still kind of cloudy, as you can see. A little bit of patches of blue. Not very many, but get used to it. Michigan. Winter in Michigan, even though it's still autumn. Um, Going to go in, drink some water. Do my collab. I'm doing a collab with, I think it's Jones Point of Plate and Weight Washers with Carrie. We're going to do a day in the life with... The green plan, the blue plan, and the purple plan. I'm going to be showing you the purple plan. By the time you see this, it's already been up. Go check it out. And um, I'll put a link in the description box below. Uh, I don't know if I said that earlier, but I know for a fact that... Oh, it's windy. I don't know where to go. Um, uh, Ange over at Smack Vision, the brat, did my Thanksgiving tag but I'm sure there's other people that have done it too. So I'm gonna watch some videos this afternoon and uh, if there's anybody else, I'll put their link down below. I'm gonna go this way so you don't see the deer. David came over last night because he wanted to borrow Jim's circular saw and we forgot to warn him that the uh, deer was in the garage. <laughs> and so he came at night, it was like 10 o'clock at night and so he was a little startled to see it. But um, Ron's going to come over on Sunday because Ron's a butcher. That's Bertie's better half. And uh, Jim uses the whole, he uses just everything that you can. He makes steaks and burgers and roasts. And then he makes sausages. What else does he do with it? He eats the heart, the liver, the lungs, not the lungs, the heart, the liver, and the kidneys. He does eat that. He eats that, and uh, I think he, I don't know what else he does with it. He does, there's not very much left of it. He uses every bit of it, so it, it doesn't uh, go to waste. And uh, at least, in, I know it sounds like a cruel sport, but uh, where he hunts in Michigan, most a lot of them would starve over the winter because there's not much to feed on. So, well, not that that makes excuses for it, but... I'm not a hunter, but that's a sport Jim loves. It's not a sport that I particularly like, and I don't like venison in any way, shape, or form. So, 
uh, that'll be for Jim and the kids to eat. My, Sophia loves when Jim makes his venison chili. Uh, I can pass. I'll stick with my Weight Watchers chili. <laughs> so, okay, um, you know those birds ate all that food I put out yesterday. I put a lot of food out. So, feed them and then um, do the finishing touches on my collab and get on with my day. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Well, of the opening of my video, I told you about strength being for the, not just the one hour that you work out for the other 23 hours from the day. And I lived up to that today, <laughs> let me tell you. Um, I work out in the pool every morning, whether I go to water aerobics or water walking. Uh, water aerobics, I am strictly in the pool for just an hour. But uh, the water walking, I'm usually in the pool about an hour, and maybe 15, 20 minutes. Um, and I'm working out the whole time I'm in there. So, and then I come home and uh, drink a little bit of water. And then I go for a walk, which probably takes me maybe 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how fast I walk, because I walk two miles. So basically, I'm getting about three hours, no, two hours of uh, exercise in every day. So that still leaves me 22 hours that I have to be good. And uh, today, you would think, you would think, because tomorrow is weigh-in day, that uh, I'd be a little bit more mindful of that. But... Um, I do find, and now here comes an excuse, la la la, here it comes, but I do find that when I eat out the day before, I don't know if it's the salt or the preservatives or just the fact that I ate out, I don't know what it is, but the next day I'm always hungry, I don't know why. And with um, our sibling dinners, we usually always go on a Tuesday night, and um, but we didn't this week because my sister Mary had a root canal done, so... Um, that's the only thing I can think of. That's I mean, I I wanted if it wasn't nailed down, I was going to eat it today because I was just I was I did try to be mindful of what I ate, but um, oh well, the scale will let me know tomorrow how badly I did today. But you know, it's just one day. I'm not really worried about it. But I have to really be diligent for the next week because Thanksgiving's next week, and I I do make a point now of being mindful of what I eat on Thanksgiving, but I don't track what I eat on Thanksgiving. And I know that's kind of defeating the purpose of Weight Watchers, but you know what? It's a holiday. It's one day. Um, there's a lot of other days in the year that the one day is not going to make or break my weight loss journey. It's just not. But I know that's probably not a good attitude to have, and I know you're going to put in the comments below, eh, you're already setting yourself up for failure. No, I'm not. I am going to have a zero-point breakfast. I don't eat, well, we eat our dinner at uh, 2 on Thanksgiving. So I'm just going to have, like, when I'm making the turkey in the morning, I'll probably have some um, some of my berries and a hard-boiled egg. And just, you know, have a zero-point breakfast. Uh, have a mindful dinner, because we have so many vegetables at my meal that really the only thing that's really going to put me out over is the stuffing because the turkey is zero. I don't eat gravy. I don't like gravy. I make gravy. I just don't like gravy. Um, I will have some mashed potatoes. I'll have some stuffing. I'll have my turkey, but then I'm going to have a lot of vegetables because we have green beans. We have corn. We have peas. We have broccoli. We have carrots. I mean, we're going to have lots. Of, and so we oh, we're going to, I'm going to make a butternut squash because Jones Pointed Plate did one today. And, and I, I always wondered how you, how you cooked them. I mean, I've made acorn squash, and um, but I never knew how you did a butternut. So she did a butternut, and that looked very easy, and it looked delicious. So I think I'm going to have that, too. So, And then for dessert, we're having desserts that I don't really like. We're having pumpkin pie. <sighs> don't like pumpkin pie. Mince meat. Not mince. Oh, that was another one. My sister, Sue, and my, my father loved mince meat. My mother always made that. Oh, my God. Gag me with a spoon. That was terrible. Pecan pie. I don't like them. I like pecans. I don't like pecan pie. But we're uh, we're having a Dutch apple pie. Yeah, pass. Denise is making a dump cake. Now that might tempt me, but I I don't think so. So and I'm gonna have my um, crustless strawberry pie. So uh, that'll be my dessert. I won't eat that as my dinner. I'll eat that as my dessert. So there. See, I'm not gonna be a complete disaster on Thanksgiving. But anyway, this afternoon I did watch some tags, and um, I watched Ange over at Smack Vision. She loves doing tags, and I knew it. She's my new buddy. We've been uh, texting back and forth tonight because she went to um, Chili's for dinner, and oh my God, she had roadkill for 
her dinner looked awful. It just looked awful. I, and I only had, at that point, I had an egg salad sandwich and a, a sugar-free pudding, and I told her that my, mine seemed more like a feast than that picture of the food she sent me because it looked, it looked bad. But anyway, uh, I'll leave a, uh, a link to her channel down below so that you can go and check that out. Also, Jay over at uh, 100 to Life, A Fat Girl's Journey, uh, she did the tag too. I think Frecky Fitwell tagged her because I tagged, I tagged Robbie. I call him Sparkles. But anyway, I tagged Sparkles and Sparkles tagged her, but you know, I watch her too, so I told her I would share her video. And uh, her family sounds a lot like mine that, you know, people are everywhere eating. You know, they're not all sitting around the table. There's some are sitting on the couch watching the football game. Some are sitting at the kids' table. Some are in the back bedroom. The kids, like Josh and David, don't sit with us. They come in the back. They come back here and eat. But um, so anyway, I'm going to put a link to Jay's channel too, so go over there. Um, Anita at Chit Chat Paddywhack gave her own spin on Thanksgiving, which I, I've really found very enjoyable. She's, um, uh, did her video for the people that don't really celebrate Thanksgiving. And uh, it was it was a nice video. I really did. I, I had a lot of fun watching it. And then my one of my favorite ones that I watched <laughs> tonight, and Valerie, only because I know you so well and I know you won't, you'll know that I'm just teasing you and that you're not, you know, you know that I'm not upset and I'm not trying to out you or anything like that. But um, she kept saying in the video that I was tagged by Sandy over at Let's Get Fit with Sandy. Please go down in the description box below and check out the tag and go over there or check out her link and go over there and tell her that I sent you, that I did do the tag, you know, blah, 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 all of that. And um, so I thought, you know, I'm going to just check and see. <laughs> no, she didn't put my link. She put Gail Cat Crabtree's link into the description box. So now Gail's going to have all these people coming to her channel saying, well, Val sent me over for doing the tag that you told her to do. And she, Gail's going to go, what tag? What are you talking about? What tag? So I will put the link to Gail Crab... No. <laughs> I will put the link to Val over at Valerie Reese. I'll put the link to her channel. Um, it's just... I, I don't... I've never met Valerie. I've, maybe someday I might. Who, who's to know in the, you know what goes on in this world? But um, she, she's so much fun on her channel, and I, I always like watching her channel. And she's, I need to have her hire her to be a handyman, her and Steve to come over to my house to be handyman because, oh, my gosh, they do everything at their house. So watch her video there, subscribe to her channel, and just watch her transform her new home because she just bought a new home, and uh, they're doing a lot of home improvements on it, and they're doing it themselves. And I'm just, like, in total amazement when I watch them. And then also I have a link to my uh, channel that um, I did the um, Build a Meal uh, on the Purple Plan. And then when you're on that video, go in those links and then go over to Jones Pointed Plate and Carrie at Weight Watchers with Carrie so that you can see their take on the Green Plan and the Blue Plan. I think I've covered everybody. I know. I like to, I mean, I'm not, it sounds like I'm a name dropper and it's not what I'm trying to do. It's just that I, um, I just like sharing all these other channels because there's there's so many good people out there. There's just so many good people giving you so much good content on their channels and maybe you're just not aware of them. I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to end the video now because I've rattled on for way too long <laughs> and uh, I will see you on my way to the Weight Watchers meeting in the morning. So give this video a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you've never been here before, subscribe and share it if you think somebody might like to see it.